crypto has massive adoption coming from major companies. And we got like, like big, big news. Like Fidelity was only the first domino for this to actually happen. We have Fujitsu that wants to get into uh, crypto trading. They just filed a patent for crypto trading. They might be starting a uh, crypto trading platform. You have Hong Kong saying that they will not only allow Bitcoin in crypto trading, but that they will indeed allow Bitcoin ETFs. That's something that the US doesn't even allow. And in fact, Hong Kong and maybe China in the future will actually become better for crypto than the US, maybe by 2025 or so. I know that's still two years away, but that is something that we as um, we can definitely look forward to think about that like hong kong china opening up not only for bitcoins but for bitcoin etfs we all know that hong kong being a special district is separate from the rest of china but it also may be a test bed to see what they can actually do with the rest of mainland china as well that's millions of people coming back in as well and the thing is like that's basically not everything uh you also have Sony who's filed patents for NFTs across multiple platforms. It's not only one platform, it's multiple platforms. So they want to bring those NFTs in the game. You talk about AAA games, Sony, the creator of PlayStation, they're the ones to actually do it. So despite the US trying to close in on crypto, other countries around the world are trying to get into crypto. And the thing is like multiple US states have announced they're probably gonna ban the CBDC. So that plan's not gonna come to fruition. I don't really think that was ever a big deal anyways but they're going to ban the CBDC and there are certain states that are making like you know at least bitcoin completely viable within the United States and protecting bitcoin mining and holding i think that will eventually come out for the rest of cryptos as well so i think the ball is rolling in cryptos favor and the SEC is just basically suing anyone they possibly can before the moment the momentum carries too much and they don't really have the jurisdiction to do things i don't think the lawsuit specifically with the one with grayscale even the one at ripple and some of the other lawsuits the SEC has are actually going in their favor. The judges seem very, very skeptical, especially in the grayscale case of the SEC's arguments. Yes, these lawsuits are going to take a long time to actually resolve. And I do believe the Ripple one is actually going to go to trial. It's not really going to get a summary judgment. But I think eventually, at least some of these will play out in our favor and the SEC won't have as much jurisdiction over crypto. I do think the secondary sales of cryptos will not actually become be considered securities. And then banks will actually have the green light to list a lot more cryptos in there. But you know, like, Hong Kong doing the Bitcoin ETF, uh, Sony basically getting, bringing NFTs into games on multiple blockchain platforms. So like, you know, anything like, uh, let's say Cardano, Solana, Ethereum, like any of those blockchains that do a lot of NFTs, that could definitely benefit from that. Fujitsu wanting to actually open up a Bitcoin trading service. And just overall, the world essentially opening up more and more to crypto and separate U.S. states being more friendly to crypto and blockchain and banning the CBDC. It's all coming together. It'll come together in a couple of years, most likely. And uh, that's when we'll see really good crypto adoption in the United States. So it's coming, guys, but you got to wait for it. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.